Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogun Mohammed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting with UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE's Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan at Bidin Palace in the presence of Supreme Council Member and Ruler of Ajman, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Rashid Al Naimi. They exchanged good wishes on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan and wished for happy returns for the Arab and Islamic countries. The meeting included talks regarding the bilateral brotherly relations which are based on solid principles, understanding and joint action. After performing the Maghrib prayer, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi held an iftar banquet in honor of His Majesty the King for the occasion of his visit to the UAE. Upon arrival in Abu Dhabi, His Majesty the King was received by the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE's Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the representative of the ruler of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Saeed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Vice Chairman of the Executive Council of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Hadza bin Zayed Al Nahyan, National Security Advisor Sheikh Tahnoun bin Mohammed Al Nahyan, President of the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince's Court and Member of the Executive Council, Sheikh Hamad bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and Bahrain's Ambassador to the UAE, Mohammed bin Hamad Al Mauda, Senior Officials and Members of the Bahraini Embassy.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa yesterday paid a visit to the headquarters of the U.S. Naval Support Activity in Bahrain. He was welcomed upon arrival by the commander of the 5th Fleet, Vice Admiral Kevin Donegan, and the United States Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck. His Majesty was briefed on the U.S. Fifth Fleet missions in the region, as well as the military cooperation between the two countries. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the invitation of the U.S. commander and praised the progressing strategic cooperation for maintaining security in the Gulf, fighting terrorism, and protecting navigation routes and international trade. He highlighted the successful cooperation that has gained more significance in the current circumstances witnessed by the region. His Majesty paid tribute to the solid relations between the two countries and expressed thanks to the Fifth Fleet commander and personnel, wishing them further success. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held this evening an iftar banquet at the Bahrain Defense Force Officers Club. Upon arrival, the Deputy King was received by Interior Minister, His Excellency Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Deputy King emphasized the integral role that law enforcement officers continue to play in strengthening Bahrain's safety and security, which he said is an important component of the National Economic Development Program, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted the Ministry of Interior's continued efforts to advance the skills and capabilities of officers, noting their commitment to the codes of conduct enshrined within Bahrain's rule of law. His Royal Highness also welcomed the wide-ranging initiatives and programs introduced by the Ministry of Interior to build partnerships within the community and maintain best performance measures. The Deputy King highlighted the sacrifices of fallen officers who dedicated their lives to defend Bahrain's national security and laws. The Deputy King extended his best wishes to the Minister of Interior and all the Minister's staff on the occasion of the Holy Month of Ramadan. On behalf of the Ministry, the Interior Minister expressed his gratitude to His Royal Highness for recognizing the role officers play in protecting the Kingdom's security. The Interior Minister went on to reiterate the commitment of the officers in protecting the safety of Bahrain citizens and residents, stressing that the Kingdom will continue to enjoy progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King.
His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa this evening visited the Majlis of His Excellency Mohammed Al Mtawa, Minister of Cabinet Affairs and the Majlis of the Al Jalahma family. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa accompanied His Royal Highness during the visit. During the visit, His Royal Highness stressed that the Bahraini community and its spirit of nationalism is at the core of the success of the Kingdom's comprehensive development program led by His Majesty King Hamad. The Deputy King emphasized that Bahrain citizens have long shown their strong commitment to protecting the Kingdom's national identity as enshrined in the National Action Charter, which champions the principles of moderation and pluralism over intolerance and extremism. His Royal Highness pointed out that these principles, which form the foundations of Bahraini society, have paved the way for significant progress and development across the kingdom, supporting the aspirations of all Bahraini citizens. The Deputy King highlighted that the kingdom has continued to push ahead with programs and initiatives designed to encourage economic progress and the spirit of innovation that has resulted in success across Bahrain's key sectors. His Royal Highness noted that the government forum last year set out to strengthen the role of the private sector as the main engine of the economy by ensuring that businesses in the kingdom are supported by an investment environment that encourages innovation and excellence. His Royal Highness further highlighted the importance of integrating national capabilities across various sectors of government to reinforce this partnership with the private sector. The Deputy King added that the guiding principles of Bahrain's economic vision 2030 sustainability, competitiveness and fairness are reflected comprehensively in the ongoing development of government services at various levels. The Majlis hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit and highlighted this commitment to advancing sustainable development and delivering opportunities for the citizens of Bahrain.
the cabinet has welcomed the joint statement issued by the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and the Republic of Egypt, listing 59 individuals and 12 terrorist entities linked to Qatar in the terrorist list. The cabinet decided to classify these individuals and entities as part of the designated terror list due to their suspicious extremist list agenda. The cabinet also directed the concerned authorities to take the necessary measures according to the laws in force. Wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council of Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sipi bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa chaired today the first council's meeting for the current session. Her Royal Highness expressed pride in Bahraini women's quality performances and achievements throughout the stages of schooling in all disciplines, wishing all graduated women career success. Her Royal Highness hailed the unprecedented visionary leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the achievement of comprehensive national development in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Council reviewed the accomplishments, initiatives and awards won by Bahraini women in the previous year, citing the partnership with the United Nations Organization selection and honoring of several Bahraini women for their success stories. Her Royal Highness stressed the importance of enhancing integration and cooperation mechanisms with the Council's strategic partners and executives to promote the work of women and to provide a variety of opportunities to boost the quality of living and ensure lasting stability of the family, thanks to the supportive policies to boost women's role in the country's comprehensive national development process. The SCW Secretary General Halil Ansari said the meeting reviewed the report of the Council General Secretariat regarding the outcomes and outputs of implementation of the National Plan for for family stability and protection programs and the initiatives to develop women's participation in the labor market. The meeting also discussed the guidance program implemented in op cooperation with the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and Tamkeen to develop and boost the performance of job guides in enlightening job seekers regarding suitable vocations in line with the continuous pursuit of education for life theme being implemented in coordination with the Ministry of Education. Under the patronage of the Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Interior Minister's 2017 Tennis Championship concluded yesterday in the presence of the President of Bahrain Tennis Association, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and senior officials. Sheikh Rashid affirmed the Ministry's keenness to contribute the various sporting events to enhance the development of sports in the Kingdom under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. He praised the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in adopting various initiatives for youth and sports, noting that his efforts have substantially developed Bahraini sports and enabled the Kingdom to make outstanding regional and international achievements. The Minister praised the sportsmanship of the players. He expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain Tennis Association for its active cooperation and to the Public Security Sports Association as well as the Public Security Officers Club for their integrated efforts which contributed to the success of the tournaments. The Interior Minister attended the final match and handed the trophies along with the King's Advisor for Youth and Sports Affairs Saleh bin Isa bin Hindi to the winners. For the first time, Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center is fully booked for five consecutive weeks to host the Ramadan and Eid shopping festival running throughout the holy month and during Eid. More details in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. 
A unique festival aims to increase Bahrain's visitors from its neighboring GCC countries by providing an additional touristic attraction in the country during the holy month and Eid. Visitors are welcomed every day from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. and from 7.30 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. to enjoy great shows, traditional music and fun activities for kids. It is a nice activity to show the, all the country custom from Emirat, from Oman, and uh, there is also dancing and singing. It is very nice. I'm having a great time here. I'm enjoying it. They have really nice uh, booths and the music. This is the first time that I'm actually listening to some of the traditional Bahraini, uh, what do you call it, folklore. So it's lovely. I'm really enjoying it. There are so many fun stuff to watch, especially the one where they make like the cups out of clay and stuff like that. It's very satisfying to watch. And I just really like buying stuff that look really pretty, especially clothes. It's like really nice. I buy shoes and also I buy dress for me and I see my friend and I play with them and I play with the, the games there and I too much too much today, I'm too much happy. Not only that, a huge exhibition showcasing diversified products in amazing quality and competitive prices attracts visitors, tourists and undoubtedly revives the market by attracting merchants to showcase their products and engage with local merchants for trade talks. Sell everything about uh, mobile accessories, about clip and some like this. This one is for bonnet for the hair. We're excited to come here to make selling too much people coming. I expect it to be very good because it's a, it's Ramadan time and it is good festival festival time. So I think so. I, I'll good, get good response over here. Whereas for my things, they are all handmade, handwork. So I've tried to do it like the Arabic style, and though it is more of Indian also. So I think so I will get good uh, business over here. Our product, uh, cups, tray and the blades and uh, uh, it's all handmade with different color, very good color as you see. Here in Bahrain, most people like herbal, they have the trust on herbal medicines, that's why we are here. We got the feedback from many people uh, about the exhibitions that here many people are gathering from many places from Saudi, Kuwait and everywhere. I came from Pakistan. Uh, Karachi city to join this exhibition, to join this Ramzan festival. So I want to uh, show products, our products to the people. Uh, I have uh, bring uh, fur coats, natural fur skin, and leather jackets, shoes for ladies' shoes, uh, traditional shoes. The festival is expected to contribute by $4 million to the national economy directly through trade transactions and indirectly through the use of hotels, restaurants, transportation and other related tourism services. Great local music, interesting shows and unique products, all within a lovely environment suitable for all age groups in the Ramadan and Eid festival open until the third day of Eid. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffour.